Can you prevent over icing? By using fat from a sheep. So yesterday we completed a test flight with the 191 uh, DJI Fly app together with the Mini 3. And in uh, relation to that, I did an experiment about uh, preventing over icing with uh, the drone uh, by applying VD40 to the props. Some of you pointed out that uh, that might not have been the best choice uh, as a VD40 might uh, do something to the plastic. Today I've decided to do a different approach and as you can see it's a lot more moisty and foggy than it was yesterday. The temperature is around 1 degree Celsius so the conditions are pretty ideal to create over icing on the props. So yesterday I used the VD40 and I applied a thin layer to the rear set of the props of the Mini 3 just to see the difference if that prevented uh, any over icing conditions. You can get into a situation where over icing of the prop, props happens basically out of nowhere. You will start to see that uh, you get motor failure because uh, the aerodynamic properties of uh, the, yeah, the drone is being sort of messed with because ice is building up on the leading edge of uh, the propellers. And that doesn't happen when it's really, really cold and frosty. It only happens uh, when you are around sort of a zero, minus one, plus one degree Celsius, and you have humid free humidity in the air. So right now I'm just flying a little bit around here to see if I can create conditions that will create this. Today we're using the Mini 2 for this experiment. So what I've done this time is that I've actually used a different product that I at some point bought for my old vintage Corvette to prevent and preserve uh, rust in case that I should uh, run into problems with that. And this, is, uh, this product is called ProLan and it's basically a, what is it called? Let me just let the drone hang there for. It's a raw lanolin uh, that is a substance that is naturally secreted by sheep, which coat their fleece to add protection in harsh conditions. So it's basically fat from uh, sort of the wool on the, the, of sheep. And then when you put that on top of a surface, it kind of seals it off and makes it water repellent. I did some experiments with this in the fall where I took like an old uh, shovel and then I coated it with this uh, substance. And I will include the pictures here in uh, the video so you can actually see that it is definitely water repellent. The problem is that it needs to sit for maybe up to 24 hours to dry. Um, and I'm not sure that we had that much time or we did not have that much time to actually do this uh, for this experiment. So I tried to put in, put on a layer, as you can see on the images here. And again, like yesterday, I did it in a way. So uh, it's only uh, yeah, two sets of the props. So now the software is ready to install. That's interesting. I wonder what we are flying with right now. Just move over here. Let's park the drone here over the trees or the soft spot here. Let's just check the software here, see what's going on. There's 191, so I guess, I don't know why it wants to update it. And the aircraft firmware is also the latest one. So everything should be okay as it is right now. So motor error, fly with caution. Now we are running into problems. We need to bring the drone down. This is typically what will happen when we are running into that situation. So let's just get it down. Fly with caution. So, be interesting to see what is going on. Let's see if we can land it on the roof. before it drops out of the sky by itself. Landing. So let's grab the drone and see what's going on while we're getting motor error. I, I will grab my phone and grab some better pictures of this while we can. So these are the rear props. You can see ice is very nicely building up on those as we would expect flying under these conditions. If we check the front props, see a little bit of ice is starting to form there, but it's uh, significantly uh, less than uh, what we had on the 
uh, maybe not significantly, but it is less than uh, what is on the rear props that were not treated with ProLand. So I would say the conclusion of this experiment is not conclusive, but at least it shows some promising results. So I will go back home and uh, take the drone and then I will coat the surface of uh, the props so at least uh, that the surface is wet and then I will let it stay and cure for at least uh, 24 hours. And then when we have similar conditions to, to these, then we will be able to test out if it really makes a difference to apply this ProLand product uh, onto the surface of uh, the products to prevent oising. The cool part about ProLand is that it's, um, it's very, very hard to remove. <laughs> so once you put it on, it, uh, it will take a lot of wear and tear before uh, you lose uh, sort of the surface on the prop. I got a lot of positive feedback on the video I put out up around the altitude indicator, which is this nice little dial in the lower left corner of the DJI Fly app. And I bet there is a few things that you didn't know that you could uh, get out of that one. So if you missed that video, you'll be able to access it through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.